Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. This is Christopher Aaron. It is the 6th of December, 2017. And I do want to thank you for taking the time to tune into this broadcast. This will be an important video. I want to tell you, I have done a lot of research over the past week, looking at various cycles in markets across the spectrum from currencies to commodities, uh, to stocks and bonds. And I have decided that this time it really is different. And so I have sold all of my gold and silver, all of my miners. A flash update will be going out shortly to premium subscribers about this. And I have put everything into cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin. I have bought right here. Because this chart does not go down. It just keeps going higher. And this is a new paradigm. This is a market that I want to be involved in. It can never go down. And so I've made the executive decision. This is no longer iGold Advisor. We will now be known as iCrypto Advisor. Of course, I am joking. So thank you for tuning in. I have not sold any of my precious metals, nor have I sold my miners. I am watching with fascination the expanding market action here in the crypto market. It is going to be a sight to behold what happens over the next several weeks and months. That's all I will say, a sight to behold. When we look at the price action here in the crypto market over the last several years, it's very clear if you want to talk about where was the smart money that came into this market? And of course, there were some earlier cycles that happened years ago. But talking about this most recent cycle, the smart money was really coming here late 2014, uh, all throughout 2015 when prices were down to $300 per Bitcoin, um, early 2016, right? This was the smart money. So we're talking about the lows in this basing process. This is very important to remember. Smart money. So is this smart money coming into this type of market now? I do not have that answer to say for sure. I would be hesitant at this point, but this is the kind of a chart that I am looking for as a technical based analyst. I want a chart that is not going to go to zero with some level of certainty, but that is basing, that has moved down for a number of years, is moving sideways, and then is getting ready to round out of its base. So this is no longer smart money here in the cryptocurrency. When we do look at a market such as the gold and silver mining sector, we see something that looks like that multi-year base forming right now. Once again, this is a market that cannot go to zero. The gold mining sector, the silver mining sector, this has been around since civilization has began. And this is the lowest valuation that has ever been seen. When we talk about this sector of the economy versus the broad uh, stock market. So in other words, the gold and silver mining sector versus the entire rest of of the economy. This is the lowest valuation that has ever been seen. This cannot go to zero. It is the closest to zero that it has ever been. So you want to talk about smart money or a basing process. It looks like that is what is in the process of unfolding right now in the gold and silver mining sector. And I would just say, do you want to be chasing a chart higher that is already in its parabolic stages? Or do you want to be part of those people who are buying in those lows? And of course, those lows can take years to form. We saw that in the price of Bitcoin itself. And we are seeing that in the prices of the metals as well. As we see the weakness coming into the price of gold here. Falling to recent lows, gold has not made a new low yet for this move. This 1262 1263 price per ounce 
was the low going back to early October. So it's matching that right now. An alert has been sent out as of yesterday to premium subscribers looking at the new target that we think is the most likely to set up here for gold on the downside. Looking at silver, switching over to silver. Silver is acting weaker than gold, coming into a very important support zone just above this 1570 level right here. This is a level that has held for over a year, for 15 months. I expect this will help this will hold with some degree there could be a brief spike lower similar to the flash crash that we saw in July for silver I believe this will hold this is an excellent accumulation time period right now although I'm not saying the metals are going to the moon this second let us look at the long-term perspective I like to bring this one up anytime that there is panic in the streets There is fear, there is apathy. I am excited when I see those emotions amongst my fellow investors, and that is what I see right now. It seems like even the anti-dollar crowd at this point uh, has become convinced that the precious metals are not the way to go to play that trade, but the proper thing to do is to move into the cryptocurrencies. So we are seeing the mining sector just wither in apathy right now. Even as we see the price of gold that has made a breakout of a six-year downtrend line, of course, on the linear scale right here, the breakout right here coming back into the vicinity of that breakout to retest that breakout point. Now, I want to remind you of what happened here in this downward uh, trend channel here, the turquoise. We're talking about these broken trend channels here that you can see. This channel held for almost three years. This down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, right? This held for almost three years. And then we had this breakout in the early part of 2016. And what happened? This market accelerated higher, got all the way up into the mid 1300s. And then after Trump's victory and the panic and the precious metals, came back down. Where did it test? It tested this broken downtrend line exactly. I mean, exactly. And of course, we're talking about a best fit trend line here. We're taking the mean average of all these peaks that we see. The breakout came back to test that exactly. And where was this level? Uh, here, just under 1150. I believe the exact low was 1122. Notice that the retest of this channel came slightly lower than the breakout point itself. This is the most conservative type of a retest that you can see, but it is still a retest. And notice after this retest, the price has not looked back. What is happening to gold right now is that it is retesting an even important, an even more important downtrend line, even longer almost twice as long as this downtrend line. We're talking about the final downtrend line that had formed here in this market, broke out here very clearly in August, initial surge higher and is coming back down to retest. So you want to talk about smart money, you want to talk about a basing process that is unfolding, you want to talk about early signals that this market has stopped moving significantly downward and that it's basing and moving sideways amidst record high volume, amidst record low interest that we see, uh, at least here in the United States amongst um, coin and bar purchasers. We see demand statistics out of the World Gold Council coming out for the last two quarters, showing nine year low levels in physical coins and bars, even as COMEX volume, which is where institutions coming into this market has just set a new monthly all-time volume record here on this retest of the downtrend. This is one of the best setups you could possibly ask for as a contrarian, but it's easy to say that you're a contrarian. It's harder to actually play it out in practice. So that's what we're seeing right now. Switching over to look at the silver chart, and we want to talk about these basing patterns here. We want to think about 
that example, where was Bitcoin three years ago when it was moving down and then up a little bit, but mostly sideways and no one was really paying attention to Bitcoin when it was back in the three, four, five hundreds. This is the pattern that silver is setting up for now. Most people will not heed this warning, but silver does not have a lot lower to move on the downside. This is an asset class that cannot go to zero that had fallen by 73% in four years. Certainly a value proposition to pay attention to here as we see basing sideways price action. Very important support over the short run coming in here at $15.70. I'll be watching for that. It is possible that we see a brief dip below that. And after that, I think the recovery to last in the early part of 2018 brings us back up to that $18.30 to $19 region. I don't think silver is going to the moon quite yet, but this basing process is about two-thirds of the way through, is what I can see. And of course, after a basing process, a rounding basing process that lasts for many years, we expect a new rising cycle to begin. That could be closer to later stages of 2018, early 2019. Of course, the more accelerated trajectory for that coming into the next part of uh, the next decade, early part of the next decade. I do thank you for tuning into this video. I have not sold my precious metals. Just to reiterate, that was a joke in the beginning. If you couldn't gauge that from the tone of my language, we do publish premium research here on the precious metals buying and selling signals, including the research that we are using to purchase the mining equities that we own here. The mining sector, as we have seen, is the lowest that it has ever been valued versus the rest of the U.S. economy. How much of a contrarian are you, really? If you're new to the precious metals, I do work one-on-one -on -one with investors across the entire spectrum of the metals from beginning stackers to advanced traders. I simply want to make sure that people, when they choose, and this is of course your choice, I'm not telling you what to do, but I describe what I do. And for people who make the choice that they want to be invested in the precious metals, to any extent, I assist individuals with understanding their options to the greatest extent possible and to understanding how to diversify within the precious metals sector. Most registered financial advisors do not have a background in the precious metals. They may, they may encourage you to invest in the GLD fund, for example. And if you call a dealership, they most likely will try to persuade you into buying a high-priced semi-numismatic coin. I work for the best interest of my subscribers and consultation clients. That is it.